you guys my name is misha welcome back to misha's corner today i'm going to show you how i fry up these easy simple catfish nuggets this is the fish fry that i'll be using as well as my spice spicy girl some buttermilk and some hot sauce now i'm able to use spicy girl because it's super low in sodium or um next to none in the seasoning make sure you use a salt free seasoning if you make this do not use something that's heavily salted because you will over salt your fish i'm gonna season my catfish nuggets with my spicy girl if you have this seasoning make sure you use it if not it's totally fine just leave it out so you want to also add some hot sauce because I want a little kick. And then I'm also going to add the buttermilk and allow all of this to marinate for about 30 minutes or so. It doesn't have to go long at all. And the seasoning and the buttermilk and the hot sauce is just going to get all throughout the fish. And this is what it looks like. So you're just going to cut open your fish fry, put it in a bowl dredge your fish and y'all it's so easy and simple this is my first time using this fish fry and so this is why i'm telling y'all use a salt free seasoning because i don't know how salty this one is so make sure you use a salt free seasoning so you're gonna take your fish put it right into the, the um the fish fry and dredge it really really well and then we're gonna fry them up All right, so my vegetable oil is heated to 375 degrees. Um, I always tell people to invest in a thermometer, a food thermometer, because that helps a lot in the kitchen. I've been cooking a long time, so I don't use them anymore. But for me to make it easier for people that are first time cooks, I'm suggesting that you heat your oil with a thermometer to 375 degrees. The temp will fall as you add your fish. These are my lemons that I'm gonna use on the fish. The ones on the left, I'm gonna use on some lemonade that we're about to make right now. In my little glass, I have about six raspberry, six raspberries, and what I'm gonna do is muddle it, just to squish them and muddle them just like that. To sweeten this, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of honey. You can use sugar or whatever you choose to use, and just keep muddling it for about a minute. It doesn't take long at all, it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I'm gonna add my lemon juice, and let's check on the fish, y'all, because I couldn't, I didn't wanna burn my fish. I had to get back to the fish. <laughs> y'all, I'll be multitasking when I'm making these videos. You should see how I run around this kitchen. It's crazy. When I move, I can't wait to, for you guys to really see how I do it when I'm recording. But anyway, this is what the fish looked like. Perfectly crispy, golden brown, delicious. We had the perfect temp and it's ready to go. Back to the lemonade, we're gonna add the water. Leave a little room because you do wanna add some ice and just keep mixing it. Mix it vigorously because you wanna keep breaking up that raspberry, you know? And this juice drink was just so good, so fast, so easy, and so pretty. It's like natural Kool-Aid. <laughs> Look at this amazing plate of fish with my lemons nice and perfectly fried and ready to go i'm gonna take some pictures and plate it up and let you guys see what it looks like all right photo shoot was quick and easy now i'm just showing you guys how i ate it i just put it on some bread and kept it moving moving it was a simple easy lunch and that's pretty much all i did sprinkled on some lemon juice sprinkled on some hot swiss <laughs> y'all know i love my hot swiss and that was it you guys so thank you so much for watching thank you for your support i appreciate you guys so much and i'll catch you on my next video bye y'all